Hi, welcome back for another lesson. Today's lesson is going to be a Billy Gibbons lead lick. This is a great lick. You can play it in many different styles and it is transposable so we can move it up and down the neck. So let's get right into it. I'm going to play it at speed and then I'm going to break it down. <laughs> So our first part is going to be starting on the 10th fret of the G string, and that's going to be a full bend. So you want that sound of going from 10 to 12. Once I'm at the top of my bend, I pick it again to bring it down, and I'm resolving it down to the 10th fret of the G. Or excuse me, the sliding this chord shape, but you're going to have your pointer on the 7th fret of the B and E, and then your middle finger is going to be on the 8th fret of the G. You're going to first pick your middle finger on that 8th fret, slide up to the ninth. Once you slide up, you want to pick the B and E. Do all down strokes. I go down on the G string, down on the B, up on the E. Just a little bit more fluid for me. So, so far. sliding. After we do this, we're going to slide on the B string from the 11th to the 13th. I get a little vibrato once I get up to the 13th. And then we go into that classic Billy Gibbons. What you have here, you're starting on the 11th fret of the G. And then your pointer finger is going to be the 10th fret of the B. You're going to pick the G string, slide it up to the 12th, and you're sliding along with your pointer finger, so that's sliding from the 10th to the 11th. And then once you slide up, you're going to use either finger, I use my middle finger, and then you're going to strike that note on the B string. going to repeatedly slide it up, strike it, repeatedly strike it up. So you strike it, slide, and then hit that note. Do that again. You can do that 
that as many times as you like, as long as it's fitting with the rhythm. So for that second part we have... <laughs> sliding from the 12th fret of the G to the 9th fret of the G to the 8th fret of the G and then I do a slight like quarter bend on the G string on the 8th fret and then resolving Sliding down with my middle finger, 12 to 9, 8 with the pointer, quarter bend, and then 10th fret D. So that whole thing nice and slow. solo in your minor pentatonic. See, I just used one of those little licks by itself. Again, this is going to be an any key, so instead of C, if you wanted to do it in A. Alright, any key up and down the neck. Well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope you find some useful things in this. And if you want to like and follow, it would be fantastic. And I will see you for your next lesson. Thank you so much. Bye.